And while you were talking and uh, interacting with that group, I couldn't help uh, but notice some of them at the back trying to take a peek at your camera and trying to talk to you as well. If you can just go to those kids and ask them how excited they are for Prime Minister okay. Modi's arrival and also what changes so, are they witnessing so in Ayodhya? Our studio. Okay, okay. So, in our studio, there are Sakshi Ji. Sakshi Ji belongs to Uttar Pradesh. So, they are very excited to see you in the studio. They have said to talk to the children. Because you are so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful in the traditional dress. So, you are from which school? Which college? Maharishi Vedh, Vidyan Vidya Vedh, Prikrama Marg Adhyaya. And how many years are you doing this contest? How many years are you doing this? बस ये हमारा एडमिशन दो साल हुआ है भी दो साल हुआ है दो साल में हम पढ़ चुके हैं कर रहे हैं अच्छा आप एक नव युवक हैं अयोध्या के आप अयोध्या को कहाँ देखते हैं आज से दस साल क्या कल्पना है अयोध्या के लिए हमारी कल्पना है कि अयोध्या स्वच्छ रहे और सब सही रहे अयोध्या स्वच्छ रहे और सही रहे ये आपकी कल्पना है और कोई नव युवक है जो बात करना चाहेगा राम से क्या प्रेरणा मिलती है राम से राम से यह प्रेरणा मिलती है कि शर्माइए मत बताइए राम से क्या प्रेरणा मिलती है राम के चरित्र को देखिए राम के चरित्र को देखिए हाँ भगवान राम की तुलना तो किसी से किया ही नहीं जा सकता ये पूरे विश्व के पूज्य व्यक्ति हैं हाँ। इनके आचरण को देख लीजिए हाँ। ये शंख देख रहा हूँ मैं आप यहाँ पे कैसा एक बजार शंख बजा दीजिए शंख बजा दीजिए मास्टर जी बात करेंगे आप शंख बजाइए हाँ आदर्श पुत्र हैं आदर्श पिता हैं और जैसा कि इनका मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम नाम है इन्होंने कहीं भी अपने किसी भी प्रकार का मर्यादा का खंडन नहीं होने दिया है ये शत्रु को भी हमेशा अपना मित्र माने हैं और प्रयास किए हैं कि ये सनमार्ग पे चले अगर सनमार्ग पे नहीं चला है तो भी उन्होंने बड़े ही आदर के साथ बड़े सम्मान के साथ उसको मार्ग पे चलाया है क्या बात है देर अ डिफरेंट वाइब ऑल टूगेदर साक्षी हेयर ऑन ग्राउंड इन फैक्ट यू नो भजन साहब बींग प्लेड ऑल अक्रॉस अयोध्या टूडे द राम भजन साहब बींग प्लेड द यंग चिल्ड्रन आर बींग ड्रेस्ड uh uh you know in traditional attire uh, will be chanting uh, swasti vachan at the time of prime minister's arrival then there are dhol there are nagara then there is a uh, there is traditional mathura music uh, here in ayodhya there is traditional punjabi music which is in ayodhya in fact sakshi short while back i was interacting to nath community uh, of uh, of haryana uh, they uh, uh, they are the traditional nath community they also uh, did a small performance for our uh, for our viewers so it's full of excitement it's a it's a cold foggy winter morning in ayodhya but despite that you can see the sea of people on both sides of the road i would ask my video journalist uh, uh, arpit uh, said to pan and give sense to viewers you can see on the other side of the road uh, the traditional uh, 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 traditional indian music women are performing on traditional indian music on my left you can see sea of people on both sides of the road uh, uh, you know uh, waiting for prime minister modi's arrival uh, i mean heavy security deployment on both sides you know such is an arrangement in ayodhya today because all of them are full of love and gratitude for prime minister modi because what he has done for the ayodhya city maine bataya sakshi yesterday i was uh, i was talking to this gentleman in ayodhya and he told me ki hum jab chote the hamare sapno mein jaisi ayodhya ki kalpana hoti thi pradhan mantri modi aur uttar pradesh ke chief minister yogi adityanath waisi hi ayodhya bana rahe so that is you know that is that is where they are touched and 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 that is why you know so many people are on the streets today to welcome prime minister modi back to you right sadan it's a winter morning but i believe the energy is enough to keep you warm i'll request you to let the mood sink in stay with us yes. we have akash sharma joining us live on the broadcast as well akash you got us a ground report from inside the amrit bhara uh, amrit bhara train you told us why the journey is now going to become extremely smooth for the passengers the name has been changed for the station also tell us everything everything about the special arrangements that have been made for today right uh, so sakshi on my right we have uh, this amrit bharat train that will be flagged off by prime minister narendra modi and on my left i'll try to show you the road from where prime minister will arrive to this particular station you can see this uh, uh, road full of uh, security personnel and uh, we have been told that the mega road show that is going to happen this one small stretch is also a part of that road show uh, in some time from now we are expecting that prime minister narendra modi will arrive 
he will uh, come inside to this uh, Amrit Bharat uh, train where he'll interact with some of the students uh, and uh, you know then we'll be flagging off this particular train this is not the only train that will be flagged off by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in fact we have seven different services including two Amrit Bharat and uh, you know six uh, Vande Bharat trains other than that you know this uh, station building behind me is the station building uh, you know we have been barred we have we are not allowed to go there because of the security concerns but uh, you see this is the redeveloped Ayodhya railway station now uh, in fact uh, you know 240 crore more than 240 crore has been spent on uh, this particular building where we have a three story long building and uh, you know with all the amenities passenger amenities uh, features services and all other things we'll have different puja stalls we have we will have different uh, uh, you know uh, book stalls uh, and also the waiting lounges and all other things this particular station has been renamed this is now ayodhya dham junction i'll try to show you uh, the uh, change sign board that is ayodhya dham junction now you can see it used to be ayodhya junction but now it has been renamed and northern railways has put out uh, this uh, particular change board this is ayodhya dham junction this uh, city is very much excited for the program today because as Siddhant was mentioning, you know, every corner is giving you such a vibe. This is Ram Ki Nagari and in some time from now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be arriving to this particular place. Uh, first of all, inaugurating the station building, flagging off these trains. Then he'll go to newly developed and constructed airport where he'll be inaugurating uh, the airport and after that, a public meeting. You know, in 2023, this is probably the last visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, in Ayodhya. And after that, we have a Granger program in 2024. 22nd January is the time when we have that Grand Pratishta program, where we'll have this grand celebration. In fact, the inauguration of Ram Mandir, Ram Temple, that everyone in the entire country is waiting for. People here are very excited because of the development work and because of the construction of Ram Mandir. You know, after Ram Mandir, pilgrims from all across the globe will be arriving in this particular city and that is also a reason why uh, you know northern railways has planned uh, a different sort of vande bharat uh, trains uh, from uh, major cities in fact we are learning that in some days from now in some months from now indian railways in fact the northern railway zone of indian railways will be starting different sort of trains from all major cities uh, to Ayodhya Dham Junction. Once again, if I can show you this uh, this particular road, this is the stretch where you know Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be arriving from to the particular station. You can see this is full of uh, security personnel, and on my left I have Amrit Bharat train, which is uh, the train of New India. Amrit Bharat is the, is the name, you know, when we talk about the feature, so it has got permanent engines on both the sides, LHV coaches so that passenger feel no jerk and all other facil facilities and service. It is non-AC train which has got mixed coaches, general coaches as well as sleeper closed coaches and, you know, all the services passengers are going to get. In fact, you know, in some days from now, we are learning that... Uh, uh, the AC version, that is sleeper version of Vande Bharat train, that will also come and passenger will be getting, passengers will be getting the services of that particular train set as well. But yes, Prime Minister Modi will be uh, flagging off this particular rake. This is the first Amrit Bharat of India that will be flagged off by Prime Minister Narendra Modi from Ayodhya to Darbhanga. The first journey will happen. In fact, uh, you know, it will be connecting Ram Ki Nagri to Sita Ki Nagri. Sita Mari is the place from where it will be passing through. And in fact, we are learning from Delhi to Darbhanga will be the first route. And second, Amrit Bharat is from Malda town to Bengaluru in the Eastern Railways. So, uh, you know, a lot has been planned for uh, Ram Ki Nagri Ayodhya and Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be kick-starting a number of projects uh, uh, from here today. Definitely, Akash, we'll keep coming back to you to get uh, more details about the modern touch that has been given to the newly and the redeveloped station there in Ayodhya. Stay with us. I'll request uh, Siddhant to, in fact, stay with us as well. We have some of the details to share with our viewers as far as this swanky Ayodhya station is concerned. What we are learning is that Prime Minister Modi will inaugurate this redeveloped Ayodhya Dham Junction. Remember, earlier it was Ayodhya Junction only, but now it's Ayodhya Dham Junction Railway Station. The name has been changed a little bit. Now, another salient feature of this railway station is going to be that it is going to look like a grand temple from outside and has murals of Lord Ram as well. Some of uh, that uh, similar kind of a touch has been given to the international airport as well. And what we are learning about the look of this redeveloped ra uh, railway station is that it is going to look like a grand temple from outside and has murals of Lord Ram as well. As far as the redevelopment goes, the cost of redeveloping it is whopping 240 crore as mentioned by our colleague Akash Sharma as well.